Hi, I'm Berenice Mann and I work for a company called Arm in Cambridge. Um, I am a senior marketing manager and that means that I help tell the story that Arm wants to share with the world and talk about all our fantastic products and services that we do and help other people understand them. So today I'm going to talk to you about business ideation. And you might be thinking, what on earth does that mean? Because actually ideation in a lot of people's eyes isn't even a real word. It's just kind of a made up concept. But what we want to do is try and come up with a way to help you think up ideas of what you might want to do for your business idea. Um, and that can be anything. It can be something you love, something you're interested in. I think a good way to think about it is how can I how can I do something to help someone else make their life easier? How can I fix something that seems to be broken to me, in my opinion, or even what am I good at? Uh, what do I like doing? You know, do I like baking? Could I could I have a baking business where I sell cakes or, you know, can I do something to fix problems in the third world where they don't have enough water supply? You know, so think about what's what's important to you is it the environment you know are you a little Greta Thunberg who would like to go out and fix what's wrong with our planet um, and then think about some ideas of how you can go about doing that that will help solve the problem so um, a, a good question is how would I go about thinking up a business idea and I have to do this all the time I have to think about how we're going to explain quite a difficult concept to people who are not technical, or I might have to brand up a new product, or I might have to think about where we're going in the business, for example. So the way I like to do this, ideally, I'd have a team of people and a group of people and we'd share ideas. And I strongly, you know, advise you if you've got even a little inkling of an idea to try and bounce it off some other people. Perhaps that's restricted to your friends uh, while you're at school. So you've got a group of people there, or perhaps it's your family if you're working at home at the moment. Um, and what I like to do is think about what is the problem I'm trying to solve. And I think that's sometimes the best way to think about it from my point of view is a problem solving exercise. Um, so I might write a sort of mind map, which is just a squiggly lot of notes in a random order, really, that comes off of each other. Um, other people like to write lists. You might like to write a list of things that you'd like to solve and then pick one. Um, and to come up with ideas as well, a good method is brainstorming, where you kind of have a non-judgmental environment, and that's really important. So if you do sit with some friends to try and come up with ideas as a team, as a group, I really suggest you get a bunch of sticky notes, which are the world's best invention, aren't they? They're a good one to look at. Um, and you write your ideas on sticky notes and then stick them on a board or a wall somewhere. And don't judge them yet. Just get all those ideas out there and then look at them afterwards with a cool head about how you, you know, which of those ideas actually seem workable. What could you actually use from those ideas? Um, and sometimes it might seem a bit pressured to be told to just sit down and think of something. What what can we do? How can we do this? You know, think of an idea is quite a pressured thing, isn't it? Um, so I think sometimes it's good to think about it, you know, for a few minutes and then just go away and do something else. And what I find is my ideas, my best ideas come to me when I'm not really trying. So if I go away and have a bath or a shower, or if I'm just with friends walking or just out and about, sometimes an idea will pop into my head. So a really good tip is to always have a little notepad and pen with you or some sticky notes or something, and you can write down your ideas. And even if you have an idea in the middle of the night and you wake up and you've got that little sticky pad, you can write it down and then forget about it and it won't worry you. You won't be going, oh, forget my idea, I can't sleep. So it's a really, a really good tip is to write things down as you think of them. I think it's quite important to look at what skills you have to offer and what you like doing. Um, there's no good having the best business idea in the world if you're not really interested in it. Um, so do play to your strengths. Are you 
good entertainer? Do you dance? Do you bake? Do you do you have good science skills? Uh, what what are you interested in out there? Um, and really use those to your advantage and, and try and play off them. Now it's not always possible. I, I admit, to come up with a business idea around your skills. So if you're trying to come up with, say, a product, then, you know, I think my advice is not to worry about whether someone else has already done it or is it the most earth shattering invention. It doesn't have to be original. It doesn't have to be earth shattering. If you go down any high street, you'll see a lot of restaurants clustered together usually at one end. And just because someone else has got a restaurant already at that end, doesn't mean you can't have one and be successful. Your restaurant just has to sell perhaps a slightly different food or a slightly better option. I mean, you sometimes even see lots of pizza places next door to each other, don't you? Um, so, you know, you shouldn't be put off by the fact that someone else has done it if you think you can make a better, better job of it, basically. Um, and so I think a good way to think about businesses is to think about as well um, what people are looking for out there. So think about your customer. I mean, as a marketer, this is always the first point for us. Who is going to buy your product or service and why? Why are they going to want it? And I always feel a really good question to ask yourself. In fact, we were talking about this at work yesterday. We all asked this question, so what? So what? So if you can't answer that question about your idea, it's probably not a great idea. Um, so be prepared for people to ask you that question. Think about it yourself in advance. You know, I'm going to make I'm going to make a product that helps someone do X, Y, and Z. And why are they going to want to do it? Because they need to solve that problem. They need this this thing that will help them. And I think that's probably like my favorite piece of advice is, you know, always ask yourself, so what? My advice today is, you know, think about what are your superpowers and how you can use them best. So in my everyday day to day job, you know, marketing is quite often about communication. There's lots of other things involved as well. Um, it also sometimes involves research and looking at the customers and so on. So that's the explorer part is the research part or researching new ideas. Um, the communicator part is getting our ideas and our products and what we do out there to people so they understand what it is that we do in what's actually quite a complicated set of offerings. Um, and manager, um, I manage a team, but I also manage projects. We call marketing projects campaigns. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the ideas you come up with. I'm sure they will be really exciting and really look forward to finding out more and seeing where you're going to go with this.